Good morning. Hi, Mimi. Good morning. Are you in Andrew's bed when he was trying to make it? You're such a sweetie bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So I found some old iPods, and this is the story, okay? So Andrew had this iPod, and um, he was using it and everything, and I thought it was so cool. I, I didn't get that one. Yes, you did. I was using this one. No. I never used that one. I know, but you got this one for me. That's what I'm saying. He got this one for me because he got this brand new one. Um, Which I bought. Say the generation. I don't so know. I bought an iTouch Wait, you generation screen. 4. Screen. Cause, okay. okay. I bought the fourth generation for myself mm -hmm. when I was at McDonald's. And I said it was it so cool. And I wanted one. So he bought this older version of it for me. And I was using it. And I loved it. And the screen was so big compared to my little blue iPod because... See, this is my very first iPod. The Nano. No, Shuffle. Is this a Nano or a Shuffle? This is a That's Nano. A shuffle. This is a Shuffle. This is a um, really vintage Shuffle. And guess what? It says my name on it, too, on the top. I'll show you guys later. So I had that one. And then I bought myself a blue iPod. Um, so when me and Andrew were dating, I had... Hold on. I had this one. I had this iPod, which is a Nano, and it's a, I don't know, but it's only 8 gigabytes, but uh, I had this and the pink one all throughout high school, um, and I really loved this one, and I was using this while he was using this, well, that one, but then he got me this one, and look at the difference in the screen, so I loved this one and used this one, and kind of stopped using this one, and stopped using my pink one. Well, then this one started, like, shutting down and not really working. And also, um, Andrew felt bad because he got me a used one. So he bought, um, another iPod. No, then I got my iPad. No, you had a different, you had the next generation up, but you sold it later on. No. Yes, you did. Because the next generation from this one is the blue and pink one we have. I got my iPad no, and was using that and gave you this. There's a generation in between No, them. this is the fourth. We have the Okay, fifth. then he bought his iPad and gave me this one so then i started using this one all the time then for my birthday i got my ipad mini mini i was gonna say that i know what it is Oof. so i got my ipad mini then oh. and still had that one but kind of barely used it because i had an ipad mini then and then after that for our anniversary me and andrew bought each other these ones so now we have these ones and then andrew's aunt gave him this one which is the new shuffle right uh, nano yeah. nano this is sixth generation nano. nano this is the nano and it has like the little like screen and everything so now he has this one so we have so many ipods in between us that it's kind of crazy i'm gonna actually take a picture of them all and insert it and also put it on facebook because i think it's just too hilarious how many i pots we have it's too bad that i didn't get a picture with his ipad in it of all of them because we do have a lot but mine actually this one actually turned back on and is like on now which is weird because it didn't turn on for the longest time and andrew tries it once and it turns on anyways we're looking at vintage ipods this morning then we're going to be going to dick's sporting goods to get some presents and then probably walk home. And sometime this week, we're going to go to his grandma's. And we have to give her our Christmas card as well. So, but right now, we're just kind of chillaxing with my little boo-boo. Hey, what you doing? Did you steal Andrew's bed? She did. Is this your bed now? <laughs> I'm going to have to sleep on your bed. You Sorry, Andrew. You're going to have to leave the room. This is Kiwi's bed. That's my bed. <laughs> I bet you if Kiwi, like... When you didn't live here, if we did have another bed, Kiwi would have taken it, and it would have been, that's Kiwi's bed. She would have needed the whole bed, but only slept in the middle. She does that. Oh, and another funny thing about Kiwi is she will not sleep on this duck's blanket. I don't know if it's, like, the fabric or something. She will only sleep on this one. Um, and this one's actually not, like, My soft. It's very rough. She likes really, really soft blankets like the Jack Skellington one or the blue one or my new one that I got. But if I, because I usually sleep with these on, 
he, she will not sleep if this is showing. It has to be this one. So Andrew thinks she's not a Ducks fan. <laughs> Are you not a Ducks fan, Bubby? She turned away. Look at her. She looked away. She's like, no answer. No comment. That is so cool. My old iPod touch is charging and actually working. And that's just so cool. I love it. I love my new iPod that Andrew got me. And I use it like every single day. And it dies every single day because I use it too much. But to see the old one is so cool. And I might use it sometimes just because it's kind of cool and vintage -y And I like it. But I was going to actually tell you guys. Um, so to the doctor, right? And got this, which is a personal um, breath, like, it's kind of like a breath test thing. I don't remember what you call it. But it, like, measures um, if you need to use your inhaler or not. So hold on a second. Let me, let me open it because, um, so it's a Respirnix, something like that. So anyways, you just breathe here and how high it goes. And if it's under this red line, then you need to use your inhaler. If it's in between or above this green line, you're okay. So I tried it this morning because I'm supposed to do it. And I got 300, so I got a little in the middle. So I don't need to use my inhaler. But this is what it looks like. I don't know how to, like, can you read that word? Just don't touch that part because that's where my mouth goes. Oh, it's not like I haven't made out with I you. don't want your hands to touch it. Sir? The Phillips? Me? No, this part. The respirator? Res it's not a respirator. It's a respironix. I don't know. Anyways, I have to carry this with me so that I can test if I need to um, inhaler? use my inhaler, which I use all the time. My doctor, you know, said I should use it every time I need it and I, I totally use it all the time because you know you, you need to test while, while you can't breathe you need to breathe into that to tell you you need to use you that's what inhaler. it said if it gets under a certain amount I'm supposed to test it and then I got a new inhaler which is this orange weird circle inhaler and I'm supposed to like use that but the problem is is that I left it in my cabinet right and white weird gooky stuff fell out of it so I feel like that inhaler isn't good anymore so I feel like I should get a new one but I still do have my other inhaler my um my other one which I carry everywhere it's probably not good that I can't find it fast there we go so this one the Vitola Vit Vitolin Right here, I'll just so, put it like this and just don't record it all up. Don't talk about it. Um, we went to a little shopping and we got a little something for a little somebody. And Andrew found two dollars. I did. And so we were like, hey, let's get some drinks. So we got some drinks. I got a PC and he got a Gatorade. Powerade. Powerade. Now we're gonna walk home. It's actually not that cold out today. No? It's actually not too bad. I'm surprised it hasn't rained. Stopped very much. raining a little bit. Crazy raining. Sprinkles on the um, way. <laughs> I sent out my Christmas cards today, so a couple certain people should be getting them. Um, more people are going to be getting them really soon. I just have to get more pictures printed soon and get them into cards and then get them sent off. So more are coming out, and I'm going to try and send them this week or next week and try and just get them out as soon as possible because I know you guys want to see our shiny faces. Do the smile. Look at your nice smile. Yeah, I know. 